previously on the Downscaling Chronicles. The Extron DVS605 was almost a perfect downscaler. All that was missing was a 480i output. Call it dumb luck, but I've managed to get it to do exactly that. Certain Extron scalers that are compatible with the product configuration software can take custom EDID binary resolution files to output 240p. The Extron PCS program was once thought to be locked to Extron Insiders, but there is a no sign-in version floating around online, so as long as the link stays live, this method is accessible to all. Previously, I was able to output 240p with a pre-made 1920x240edit file that I found online, but couldn't successfully create an edit for 480i output with 640 or 720 pixels wide. Thanks to a random shower thought, I figured why didn't I just try 1920x480i? And here's the result crispy, detailed, interlaced 15kHz. I failed to realise in my last video on the Extron EDID method that turning AFL, automatic frame lock on, keeps the lag steady at only one frame for progressive sources. With auto image set to fill, the picture is going to be heavily overscanned and discoloured. Just go into the output settings and reduce the horizontal size somewhere above 1500 and recenter it. Now the OSSC Pro reports the output as 704 by 480i and because the vertical refresh is 59.99, practically 60Hz, unlike Extron VSC 500s, I didn't experience any screen tearing. The DVS605 is blending lines and retaining detail when it downscales. So as unconventional as it may be, text is much more readable in a wider range of scenarios. And another huge win for those using the Extron EDID method is watching motion video like the good old days in 480i. With 1080p input, 240p and 480i output, one frame of lag, crispy 15kHz and fluid image controls, move over OSSC Pro. We have another 10 out of 10 downscaler. GAME CHANGER! Take that extra on Emotia. The DVS605 and the Corio 2s are still my recommendation for robust downscaling on a budget, provided they remain relatively affordable. Thanks all for watching, and happy gaming.